Welcome back to Metroid Prime. Gotta say, love the wave beam. Just on like default Samus when she comes back in. It looks so good yeah. against the orange. Yeah, purple just uh, looks great on her. All right, pirate community analyze. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Facility. Uh, where, where are we heading? Yeah, yeah. We're on our way there. We're on our oh, way there. Right, 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 we're at the right. research core. The research core. There's something there that will probably help us going forward. Oh, so I just noticed on your map. Do the doors, when you get new beams, do they show up on the map differently? Because I noticed I saw wave beam doors. Yeah, be uh, so, uh, different doors have different beams, of course. Yeah. Uh, green is, you know, power power beam slash any, any door. Um, the purple doors here are the wave beams. Then you, of course, got white and red. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna keep those in my pocket for a while. That's fine. Oh, this yeah. looks like an arena to fight things. Yep. Yep, there's things here and there. Oh my gosh, there are things they're, here. They're quite upset with us <laughs> that we're kind of intruding and destroying hey. everything. You're not supposed to be here. This is a, this is a, it's a restricted area. And then Riddles McGriggles. Oh, wait, no. Oh, no. Jetpacks. Yep, they're introducing the jetpack enemies oh, now. Oh, ew. Ew, ew, ew. What's cool is that you say ew now, but then they're going to be easy. Right now, they're at, they're probably at their most difficult and most dangerous because they move around a lot and they're hard to really lock onto. You can use a charged wave beam to kind of freeze them in place for a bit. That usually kind of does the trick. I like you fire a missile and that usually does, that usually takes them out. And they do like that kamikaze dive bomb. Oh, I don't like that. Yeah, no. I think it's like unintentional. <laughs> they're not even trying to do that. It's just like, oh my god, we're falling down to the earth. Ah! So yeah, charge wave missile. A couple other stray shots in. Yeah, these, these, these guys are. These guys ain't nothing. They do like to sneak up on you, though. That's lovely. Oh, yeah, that's lovely. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> so, them falling against the ground just reminds me of a Family Guy sketch. <laughs> <laughs> you tell me they got the, the, the arm Oh, yeah, back. just the arm back. <laughs> <laughs> I shoot a, one of the pirates in the knee. <laughs> ah! Ah! Bitch! By the way, good job. Good job beating the flying pirates. Man, it's, it's, it's easy. It's cool. Now we're gonna go to the second part of the the base. Wait a minute. Research lab ether. Those are space pirates, but you give them jetpacks. Does that make them sky pirates now? Well, that's how they get around in space. It also works in low atmospheres too. Oh, okay, okay. God, what game was that that had sky pirates? That sounds like Skies of Arcadia. Skies of Arcadia. That was it. I was almost about to say Grandia, but I don't know what I'm talking about. I know it's not Grandia. It was the first thing that came to mind. I only played a bit of two, and they might. What do we? What do we got here? Oh <laughs> no! <laughs> ah, oh, here it is again, my friend. Oh come on! Hello. Well, I found the next batch of Metroids. We're gonna... These look a little different, though. Yeah, they look evil. They got like big chompers. What are these? Yeah. That's a Metroid. Oh yeah, it's yeah, just a Metroid. It is a Metroid. Okay. Dominant species of planet SO3D8, Metroids can suck the life force into living things. A Metroid will latch onto its prey and drain energy, growing larger as it does. The only way to shake and attach Metroid is to enter morph ball mode and lay a bomb. Oh. So that's changed. <laughs> of course it gets out as soon as you scan it. Yeah. Oh, I was about to say, can we even have, kill this thing? I don't have the appropriate beam to deal with it, so I just gotta shoot a whole bunch of missiles. <laughs> Sheesh. So, uh. I don't think. Oh, okay. There we hey, go. he's been messing with the Metroids! Ah! I'm pretty sure that uh, these Metroids with, like, the, the big choppers on them, yeah. that might be a special uh, uh, brand of Metroid. A Talon 4 specific Ta Metroid. Talon 4 Metroid, yeah, yeah. Probably more hungry and a bit more aggressive, but weaker to other weapons. Okay, okay. That's my theory. That makes sense. <laughs> I'm just imagining in the background the one scientist that took... I SPENT FIVE YEARS MAKING THAT THING! So, uh, they're talking about how Ridley basically came home to lick his wounds, and, uh, they made him harder, better, faster, stronger. This is Meta Ridley they're talking about. Was he Meta when we saw him in the atmosphere? 
like flying over uh, Fendron and Drifts. I, I think so. They're talking about how, oh yeah, we, we made a whole bunch of new cybernetic painful augmentations to him, and now he's like super strong. Oh, great. Right. Transfer of interest to Talon 4 research facilities have been completed. Three terminated incident. The landing site. Oh, that's Others good. were pacified. Oh. And transport safely. Initial phase on infusing all. Yeah, no, infusing no, the great don't poison. Don't infuse him with the phase on! Ah! It, that's like. Phazon's like evil energy! Yeah. They're eating that? Make Why are you doing this? Evil Metroid. No! This is God! I gotta stop all this right away! Ah, oh, it's it's fantastic. <sighs> oh, I, I love the idea of a of an evil Metroid. It's like the original ones that we were killing on SR388, especially the baby. It was just like mama, and then these dark Metroids are just like mama. What I love is that uh, the pirates are too stupid to really uh, handle the Metroids too well. I, well, I just think they, they, they can't even grasp what they've created. They have this these intensely dangerous experiments, and they don't know how to handle them very well. And then again, they were probably going to sell it on the black market. It's just like yeah, 500 credits for this evil Metroid. Yeah, most likely. No, nah, no, nah, don't don't worry about it. This was made in the lab. It's dark. It's evil. Oh, they're combining the face. Oh, they're combining phase on with the space pirates. Evil space pirate. Eviler space pirates. Ugh. Apparently, Faison. Faison, yeah. <laughs> apparently, phase on's like the best stuff ever. If you can infuse it with anything, they're they're just doing whatever they want with it. Well, if you had an infinite poison source, you probably wouldn't do anything with it. It's like hmm. Hmm. The toilet is a little looking a little dirty this morning. Yeah. I'll, I'll use phase on. <laughs> I'll use phase on and bleach, and now it's glowing blue. Oh man, I'm about to get evicted from my apartment. Best use some phase on my landlord. It'll infect him and turn him against his enemies. Hey, wait. I I might technically be his enemy. Okay, wait. Okay, wait, wait. Oh, that's a disgusting looking thing. Yeah. Let's not have that break out. Yeah, it's the elevator to go back up. There's a pirate log somewhere. Uh, right. Okay, there's, there's those. two here. It's Hunter, Hunter Metroid. Metroid. Ooh. <sighs> They're making new kinds of Metroids now. That's, that's, that, that's great. That's great. This mm -hmm. is a dangerous place. Uh oh. Oops. Uh, this is a little bit tricky thing we gotta do here. Just a, it's a, it's a little. A bit of Sli slight minor difficulties. I, I, I did a good in practice, but it's gonna take some. Just, hang on. Uh, here we go. I, I wouldn't here. even have seen that, right. that uh, little. Ah! <laughs> Samus has been hitting the face on. She, she's a very light ball, lighter than you would expect. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh man, that's that's tricky. Yeah, yeah, this is rough, especially when the camera changes and you gotta get your bearings back, and you're using like a 25 year old GameCube controller, basically. So this, uh, you're saying this isn't a track? No, this is not a track. This is just a cat. Wow. Steady hand. Careful. Careful. Yeah, yeah. Careful. And oh, you got this. Yeah, you got this. Easy. Got it. Easy every time. Expanded missiles. Expand missile. By the time you finish, our missiles are going to be like as long as a, f a fucking freighter. <laughs> That's a big missile. Fire a missile here. You get another energy tank. Wow. Hey, wow. This is, this is easy. This is simple. Do this all day. I don't remember Metroid Prime being this easy. He's got to know where to find them. That's They're true. They're all hidden. That's true. All right, more more, more pirate data. Yeah. I, I like reading these. Metroid dissection, dissection continues uh. to provide more questions than answers. Our research teams have isolated the energy conduits that run from the evasive twin mandibles to the energy core in the creature's quadripartite nucleus. But the okay. manner in which a Metroid actually extracts the life force from its prey remains an utter mystery. The victim doesn't lose blood or any other vital fluids, and yet the Metroid, Metroid extracts, extracts energy. energy. Identifying this energy is our central problem. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. I actually never thought about that, because when the when the giant Metroid sucked Mother Brain dry, there was still life function in there, just absorbing energy. Didn't take all the energy because I think Mother Brain herself is kind of an energy source when you think about it. Uh, infinite energy versus infinite sucking energy. Yeah. Well. Oh my God. Uh, so these Metroids and trying to reproduce. <laughs> Don't try to become a Metroid. <laughs> They're gonna tame the Metroids. Yeah, right. A small force of disciplined <gasps> Metroids could do- No! Oh my no! god, domesticated no! Metroids! No, you're not gonna- it's not gonna work! You're not gonna do this! 
I do like, though, how they're trying to make, uh, you know, realism out of, like, an 80s sci-fi trope. Yeah, this this is actually great. It's like, it sucks energy! It's like, well, we're not, we're not quite sure how they suck the energy. It's, it's quite it's quite mm -hmm. mysterious, and we need to figure out the, the, the how they do this. I mean, these space aliens, they have acid for blood. This is nice, this is nice good, sexy, uh, hard sci-fi. Mm -hmm. I might go home and play Returnal and give that one more try. <laughs> Ice Beetle, alright. Just another uh, ice variation of this beetle type. Can we still blow it up? Yeah, we can still blow it up. Nice. This just that we need to blow it up because it's ice. Mm -hmm. Can we just like put it in our drink, and watch it slowly melt? It's cold in here. Well, okay, you got me. All we gotta I do is just uh, make him follow us to Magmore Caverns, and then he'll be like, "No!" And it's like, "Ha!" Got him. Ooh, this looks cool. This place yeah. Is dark. This place is dark. Oh, it's dark. Oh, oh it's I very, love very it. dark. And there's Metroids in uh, here! Uh, well, I mean, mm, okay. Uh, there's, there's more down here. Oh They're hiding in the dark, they don't think I can see them. Aha! I see you though! I see you too! God, this is a horror film. Your jetpacks give you away! Oh, I love it. Well, of course it's a horror film. I mean, Metroid, of course, was based on Alien, which in and of itself was a sci-fi horror film. No? So, do you think that's where Ridley's name came from? Without question. Do you been... think that's why Samus is a badass female? Uh, probably. You know, just to coincide with the alien probably. comparison. Probably. She, she, I think she's a different badass than Ripley is, but... Mm -hmm. What was that down there? Our next item we gotta get. <gasps> this is what we're here for. We're in the research core. It looks broken. Can we fix it? Oh, it does break the game. No, not, oh, thank not, God. not, not, not really, but... Well, I mean... It's interesting. It's it's a situational weapon. It's not really even a weapon. Uh, you'll see. Well, every time you, you mention, hey, we're getting a new toy, I always get excited. It's just I know, like, right? Oh, yeah. And that that's the joy of a of a good Metroidvania. Yes. It's like we're gonna get something new today. <gasps> <laughs> I like it. All right. Kay. So uh, level two is disabled. Got almost got it. He's gotta almost find got the it. third monitor that has the lock here. Hmm. Uh, Ooh. Okay, open that Ooh. door. Oh, wait a minute. Is that... Oh, is that what I think it is? What do you that, think it is? Is that the ice beam? No. Damn it. That is an ice beam door, yes. Okay, got the central well, tank We're not getting down. the ice beam yet. Quite the opposite. Think as far away from ice as you can think of. Oh, is it a, is it a visor? It's a thermal visor! Oh, cool! Because uh, we're gonna cut the power here to the to the pirate base soon, which means that everything's gonna be dark. Oh, that's cool! And because it's gonna be dark, yeah! we gotta see! Ooh, do Metroids run hot? Or right. they run cold? Don't look to find out. I imagine they run hot, because, you know, they absorb energy, they right. suck energy. I'd imagine there'd be you know, a lot of, here a lot of body power. going there. And... <laughs> Here's the situational secondary function that they oh, have. Oh, I love how it slowly goes dark. Yeah. Oh, that's cool! Uh, oh, hi! But, but, <laughs> bit of a busy HUD uh, for, for what we're seeing here, but it gets, it gets the job done. I'm afraid that uh, this might be what most of the episode looks like now. I hope you like purple, blue, and yellow. Uh, it's a good thing I do like those colors. Those are beautiful colors. Yeah, it could, it could be worse, I suppose. Oh, look at the heat signature on the different parts of the stairs. Yeah. Oh. That's that's just a nice level of added detail yeah. that you, you didn't really see in video games, you know, in this, in this age. This is 2002. You don't even see that now. <laughs> I mean, very rarely do you see that now. Of course the Metroid's been out, by the way. Oh, yeah, of that course. Means that it's, it's, it's just an inevitability. It's just what happens. Yeah, so they definitely run hot. Yeah. Like, they run so hot, I'm pretty sure that when they le when they latch onto you, it's uh, burning, searing. Oh, maybe that's the energy. They're stealing your heat. Mm. Oh, thermal energy. Oh! Uh. Well, in that case, they could just latch onto the arm cannon and just... <laughs> maybe they're just sucking out all your mitochondria. <laughs> Ew! Oh, I don't want to think about that. <laughs> that yeah, yeah, that's that's some violence for you there. Oh, but... that's some science violence. <laughs> yes. Some silence. <laughs> but I mean, I, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. violence. Mm. Yeah. Now, if they actually went the extra mile and said, "Oh yeah, the Metroids suck out your DNA," I could just see people collapsing into puddles after <laughs> after the Metroids are done with you. They don't collapse into puddles. They kind of turn blue, and like corpseish. Yeah. I mean, obviously they're dead. It's just like... It's so dark in here, though. 
So, uh, the power is off, which means the doors don't work. Our one weakness. This door has no power. The nearby power conduit must be energized for it to open. A blast of electrical energy will energize the conduit. This is why we also need the thermal uh... visor. Because when these doors are off, we need to find one of these things, shoot a wave beam at it, and then, ding! Doors open! Specifically wave beam, okay. Because it's energy. Oh. This is a sentry drone. The pirates know we're here. They're pissed off. They're sending drones after us. They well, scramble our visors and they shoot at us and it's hard to lock onto them. You mentioned that the pirates know we're here. What was their first clue? The massive explosions going on in the background? Or the bodies were sweeping out of the, of the uh, yeah, exactly. balcony right now. <laughs> or at least what's left of the bodies. I think it's just a couple of arms, yeah. a head, and a toe. I could just see a space pirate with a giant scrub brush. <laughs> Slowly sweeping it up. It's like, God, Samus is here. I knew this would happen. These guys stood behind me at lunch yesterday and now... Oh, wait. Found his wallet. He owed me ten bucks. I found his wallet! Oh man. Oh, man. And Samus is like, two, three, three four, <laughs> five. This is the only reason she goes after space pirates, because their pockets are loaded. She's a bounty hunter! Exactly! I mean, you, she goes after the big bounty. I mean, she, I mean, she's quite an altruistic bounty hunter, you know, like, you know, justice and, you know, mm -hmm. goodness, you know, lawful good, you know, all that, all that Probably shit. Probably doesn't take payment for saving planets, or, or dooming planets. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I think she's more bounty hunter than mercenary. If you if you catch my drift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Star Fox, our group of mercenaries. Yeah, he's a merc. They're always like, hey, we gotta get paid, you know. Make sure it's like, get hey, the you get the money. Want, you want to employ our services against Andros? You gotta pay us the eighty thousand down payment. And Fox is like, Falco's right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being in agreement. Falco's <laughs> right. <laughs> money first. Just imagining. Yeah, we stopped Andros. Pay up. No. He's right. No, no, but you saved the galaxy. He's right. He's right. <laughs> oh God, where do we go now? Well, uh, I, I saw a Slippy fly down the left side. Uh, where do you think Peppy went? He's, He's right. He's right. Oh. <laughs> All right. Oh, Fox is stuck on agreement mode again. <laughs> Just uh, going back through the, the pirate base, really. Except it's dark and they're a little pissed. Okay, I can see how this can be disorienting to walk through. The heat signature from the doors actually shows up in the visor. Mm hmm. So you're actually seeing through walls. I can kind of see that. Now, are all the lights back on? Or just in that one lab? It might depend. I mean, they gotta have the power to power the elevator, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. Well, th th these guys are back, too. I, 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 I don't think you uh, missed them too much, did you? Nah, yeah, it's fine. And they put all these boxes back, and oh, they cleaned God. up all the bodies, and now they gotta clean up more boxes oh my God, and clean up janitor, more bodies. Janitor just put away a scrub brush, and all of a sudden, you know, there's explosions happening outside. Just, all right. You know, I'll just wait till she leaves. Mm-hmm. Uh. Hey boss, do you mind if I wait until this chick leaves? She's, she's throwing stuff all over the ground again. Meanwhile, boss has got like you know a hole through his head. I'll just I'll just uh, take my break now. Yep. All right. Turns out the janitor of the space pirates only one that lives. Surprising. You wouldn't you wouldn't think the space pirates are unionized, but they actually are. It's a very surprising turn that not a lot of space pirates thought would see the day. Because they're too busy getting killed by Samus. <laughs> <laughs> now, are we going oh, all the way back? All the way back. To Fendrana Drifts, or the where we got the super missiles? We're going, all, like, we're leaving the base, basically. Oh, okay, okay. Very stealthily as running stealthily away. As stealthily as we can, I mean... Something hit you. Oh, hitting the save station here real quick. Just, just be on the safe side. <laughs> get the health back, get the ammo back, I yeah. think. No, no, not just, just the health back, at least. And, yeah, you never know when there could be just a sudden power outage caused by a bounty hunter in metal. Maybe it was Samus's fault the time we were trying to record Dark Souls and the frickin' power went out. So I guess we're not doing Metroid sooner, I guess. God, I remember that. Dark Souls was a nightmare to record. It's like, what do you think, guys? Should I do Metroid Prime 2 or Dark Souls 2? Hmm. 
Ret it's it's rhetorical, okay? <laughs> Don't answer that, please. Yeah, right. I, I've already made up my mind. So yeah, Dark Souls Two is good. You're gonna no, play? No, 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 no is now a beat a judder and pelly. Hey! Sad part is it actually worked. <laughs> I laughed at it. I know. It's stupid. <laughs> it's it's so dumb. I hate does, that. Does that say my humor is degraded, or was it act that was a legit it's, good one? It's it's just the timing of comedy. It's your comedy can have like you know the longest setup and payoff in existence, and it can just be as simple as. <laughs> See. It's- it's- comedy is the easiest thing, and it's the hardest thing! I think my favorite part is, I'm actually in the same room with you, so I actually saw it at the corner of my eye. I was like, here's the wind-up, and... <laughs> there it is! It's out of here, There's folks! the softball, yeah! <laughs> ah, it's a good thing we came back here, actually. Oh yeah, did we miss something? Well, not that we missed something, we have something that we can get now. Those guys are in, like, synchronized swimming positions up on the ceiling. I should mention that they're also invisible to the naked eye. Oh, that's cool. Cordite. Cordite. Cordite equals super missile. Oh, I actually did not know that. Like from when I played Metroid Prime, I had no idea that's what they meant. Yeah, they're being uh, you know, real, real coy and saying that oh, this is this is made of a certain material. It could be done with a certain power. <laughs> I don't know, man. We am really good to say, uh, use a super missile to blast open the cordite on this. Yeah, but then again, do you really want your visor just going, hey, idiot, use a super missile here? Well, it, either it goes, hey, idiot, or it's so vague, I don't know what the fuck it's talking about. <laughs> we, we could get the... Uh, either way, 7 out of 10! Could get the passive-aggressive Alexa from South Park. <laughs> Alexa, please turn on the car. Turn it on your own damn self! Okay. <laughs> oh, wow, I like that. Yep. It actually got rid of their heat signature. Uh-huh. That is such good detail. Yeah, this, that's why people love Metroid Prime so much. Wow. Because it just has that kind, that level of detail. That is so cool. Yeah. And then you blew it up. And I, I got rid of his heat, of uh, its heat signature. You know, if anybody actually thought Metroids were cute, the rule of... The rule applies to cute things in video games. If it cute, it die. Every well, time. I mean, uh, Sam was probably thought the Met uh, baby Metroid was cute at the end of Metroid 2, and what happens at the mm -hmm. beginning of Metroid, or uh, the end of Metroid 3? Well, you gotta die. It got revenge. Well, it uh, dies at the beginning of, uh, of Metroid Other M, but, uh, you know. <laughs> Alright, I'll give Other M one thing. I really like the cinematics. No, you don't. I you're like you're the just you're trying you're cinematic. trying to find a compliment, I and like you say, hey, "Well, the pre-rendered cinematics are good when you don't think about it." Well, yeah, if you squint real hard. If you, if you squint real hard and forget no, about I, what Samus's character is supposed to be no, like, then I, it's fine. I legit have one scene in my head, and it's actually the recreation of the end of Super Metroid, and I really like that part, where she just focuses on the baby. Why am I alive? Yeah, like, saved like me. Mother Brain shooting the murder beam. I was like, oh, okay, that's pretty cool. And then she wakes up traumatized and afterwards. And then everything it's else not what after I remember that is just, they, just a hot garbo. They, they completely just neutered Samus Aran for Metro Other Aim, and I kind of can't wait to talk about it. <laughs> but, we're going to have to save that for another day. Right. Yep, yep, yep. We actually did quite a bit. We, we did indeed. Let me uh, give a little glance ahead as to what we're doing next. Looks like we're heading back to, uh... To, uh, Magmore Caverns. Ah, going back to the hot. Yeah, just, uh... <laughs> ooh, oh, ooh, okay. Ooh, okay. Yeah, all right. That'll, that'll, be, that'll, be, that'll be fun. Try not to turn on the thermal visor as soon as we get to Magmore Caverns if you don't want to blind your audience. Mm, well, well, I mean... Yeah, Maybe I want to. It's gonna be, uh... It's gonna be, uh... It's gonna be, uh... It's gonna be. We'll see you next time.